bam back bow with another video we're going to be talking about amc we're actually going to be talking about a couple of stocks as you can see by the title first one is going to be amc we'll also be going over mullen mullen is starting to push down coming to buying levels and support levels we'll talk about that one we're also going to talk about the sp 500 ticker symbol spy we're also going to throw tesla stock in here ticker symbol tsla and then we're going to also throw hymc in here as this one could have some movement too and i'm looking to play this one as well this one is a penny stock so you got to make sure you watch that risk management smash that like button and subscribe if you are new if you want to update on these after the market closes, all you got to do is get the video over 150 likes as fast as possible, preferably within about four hours. Um, so I have time to make the next video as I am getting more busier and videos will become a little more less because the focus will be more on the team, which you should be joining the first link in that description. We did a couple plays today. I actually lost on an AMD put play. Good thing I went smaller on it. It was very risky. I went smaller. So nothing too crazy about it. Lost 18% on that one. But that's why you can't let your losses define you. And guess what we did? We went back and got a spy call. I sent you guys a, the month strike price I pay where I'm looking to exit. Notice how I didn't go small on this one, but I did on the other one, right? So we easily made that play back. Sold half of the spy calls, 8% gain. Sold 25% for a 15% gain. Sold another 15% for a 22% gain. And then sold the last 10% for a 30% to gain on spy. So we made that money back and even more on top. We stay green. Make sure you join the winning team. We're profitable every week. And now, if you scroll down the website, first thing in that description, you'll see we have a one-week trial now for you guys, right? You can do elite, VIP. You can also do yearly. If you scroll down, you see the option right here, yearly. But we have the one-week trial, so you can just test it out for a week. If you like it, you can join. If not, you can leave. So thank you, guys, and let's get straight into it. So AMC. Now, AMC, I was expecting some pull down after it hit the resistance level about 570 or so, which is still a resistance level you want to be watching out for. Let's take these white levels off. And then notice how, okay, the buying pressure level I gave you guys at $5.40. Where do you see buying pressure off today? Look at the low of today. The low was $5.40. It hit the buying level perfect of the level I gave you guys. That's why I say you should not miss a video. The levels work and they are important. So $5.40 hit it perfectly and we got buying pressure off of that. Now, I was going to be buying more AMC shares, but I already have, I still have half of my other position on AMC. So I don't need to put more money into it, right? I'll just let that other half work right? I don't really need to put more money into it. AMC is not something I play to bring in consistent profit. The option plays in the morning, private live streams that you get when you join the team, that's what I play for consistent profit, not AMC. AMC is just extra, right? So I'll leave that half in there to see where AMC goes, but I do like how it show buying pressure at that buying pressure area, which also means that this level is done now, okay? That $5.40 is no more. It is done. We still have a buying level at 520. So just in case AMC pulls all the way down, I'll still be bullish even if it goes all the way down to 520 because that is a buying level. But above us, we need to break $5.70 and $5.80 to really show bullishness, right? We need to break above those and not really show any type of resistance. So that's what I'm kind of watching for on AMC. Still have half the shares. Um, if it comes back down to $5.20 and shows strong buying pressure, maybe I'll put more back in. But for now, I'm kind of just trying to see what AMC does in this area. And also AP, the AMC Preferred Equity, APE, nothing's really going on on there. And also GameStop, nothing's really going on. It's kind of just bobbing around $22, which is a support, and $22 is a resistance. Just add those, but there's nothing really going on with those right now. So then let's go to Mullen. Mullen did start breaking this buying level that I had at about 1050. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that off. It's in that buying range now, right? It's in the area where buying pressure could occur. So I still do have, I think we only have like, I think I only have like half the shares. Remember, I sold half when it ran up here for a 6% gain because I love taking profits. Imagine me still holding. Now, my whole position would have been down negative 1%. We're down negative 1% right now, while only half is down negative 1%. So I'm still actually up because I sold the other half for a 6% gain. That's why I like scaling out, taking profits. That's the whole reason you're in the market in the first place. So we still have a support at about $0.10. Cents. We do have another resistance level, though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this as orange because this is more of a target. 
and then I'm gonna put a resistance level down here. I'm gonna put it at about 1125. That's what we're gonna do. So let's put a resistance level here that we wanna be watching out for just in case uh, Mullen gets like a nice big push. Watch that resistance level on, actually, hold up. I just realized we got another resistance level. We got a lot of resistance levels right now on Mullen. Let's watch this level first on 1060. Once that breaks, then we'll go to 1125. Once that breaks, then we'll go to the 12 cents area, okay? So this is the new resistance level watching for on Mullen. Not really doing much right now. Kind of stalled out for this past week as well, right in that range. As long as we don't break this support level, we should be good to go for higher prices. But if that support level breaks, Mullen's probably going to be crashing right back down to the floor. Let's go over Tesla, ticker symbol TSLA. Tesla is at a current resistance level right around 185. So it's not too much I want to do for Tesla in this area as we're about to hit resistance. OK, yes, Tesla could go up higher to 188s, 190s and so forth. I just don't want to do much with it as I am very bearish on Tesla. So I'm mainly looking for downward side plays. And then Tesla has earnings next Wednesday. That is going to be very big for Tesla. So I feel like a lot of money is sitting on the sidelines of Tesla to see what happens with that earnings. Because if earnings is bad, Tesla is going to have a big old crash down to the floor. And it's probably going to hit that 160 level as I've been telling you guys for weeks. This is what I'm waiting for, for Tesla to go to 160. Okay. So let's see how that goes out. Now, remember what I told you guys, I was looking for maybe a pull down, push back up to that resistance. That's exactly what we're getting right now. We're getting a push back up to that resistance. And then I'm looking for that next rollover to go down. So I am looking to load the boat up on put options, hopefully get the put options today or tomorrow. And then I want to exit those put options before earnings because earnings go either way. It could rock it up or it could crash down. And I don't really want to have any plays before earnings. It's just too risky. And it's not really how I like to play and bring in consistent profits. So I'm watching that resistance level, looking to get put options, looking for this support to break at 178. And especially if this support breaks at 178, Tesla's for sure going to be going down to 160. So just be mindful of that. If you're in Tesla, looking to play Tesla again, none of this financial advice. So don't trade anything you see or hear in this video. And make sure you guys uh, join the team. First thing in that description, we got the one-week trials now. We got Elite VIP. I believe prices will be going up May 1st. So you have, I think, like two more weeks to get in at this pricing here. Now, that's Tesla, okay? Let's go over the SPY, the SP500. Now, you got to be looking at this stock. OK, every day you're in the market, you need to know what is the S&P 500 doing? Is it stalling out? Is it going up or is it going down? Because most likely the other stocks are going to follow what the S&P is going to be doing. S&P has been in a range ever since like April 3rd. Right. So it's been in this range for almost two weeks. Tomorrow, if it doesn't move out of this range from a support of 406 a resistance of 412, it will be two weeks of spy literally doing nothing. Kind of just wasted our time in here. Now, we actually did play SPY today. As I showed you guys, we had a put option play on SPY. We can go over that. SPY was stalled out in the morning right here. OK, it was stalled out. We had a nice movement higher. This was buying pressure right here. Remember, there's buying pressure, buying pressure confirmation. We waited for the pull down. We actually got entered here and then we caught this run here. And that's why we that's how we were able to get a 30 percent gainer. So say you put a thousand dollars. That would have been $300 just in about, I think it only took us like seven minutes or so for that play. That would have been $300. So you put 10 grand. That would have been $3,000 within five minutes. And I'm literally calling the plays out before they even happen. I send you guys the month strike, price I pay, where I'm looking to exit, what type of stock it is. I give you all that information when you join the team Elite VRP. And you can also pay yearly. I also think I'm going to do a lifetime where you could just pay once. And you never have to worry about paying again. Let me know if you guys want that as well. That is something I'm thinking about doing. But this was the spy call that we did today. And remember, after you get a spy call, like that's 30 percent. Usually I only look for 10 percent. But after you get a move that big and you scalp that, you're done for the day. You don't need to be trading more. You don't need to be looking for other stocks because look what happened after this big movement of the spy. What has spy been doing? zero you do not want to get caught up in here you do not want to be giving your profits back take your profits get off the market go do something else and come back tomorrow with fresh eyes okay but that was a spy play we did looking for spy to move but it's just not really moving we got news tomorrow morning as well hopefully that will kind of get us out of this range but for so far it's kind of just in that range i would still watch support at 406 and then we probably have resistance at about like 412 and then let's go over hymc 
HYMC, I am looking for this one to trade higher, okay? I'm looking for this to trade higher. I want it right around, oh man, I think it just hit my buying level now that I'm thinking about it. But the levels, my buying level is 51 cents. It literally just hit as I was making this video. So I'll probably get some later. We'll see. But 51 cents is a buying pressure level. I have a target of about 56 cents. These are levels I gave you guys way before. Notice how I just took off the levels and the buying pressure was all the way down here at this target at 56. So it is literally going to my target right now. And then I want to take resistance off. I think we are good on resistance. I think I just want a little pull down. Like it stays green today. Tomorrow it pulls down to the buying level and then starts to go up. I think that would be a nice 10% gainer right there. But after it hits this target here, I think that might be it for HYMC, at least for now, until like another clear target shows itself and stuff like that. But I like this on HYMC. Put it at the end. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at will.knowledge. Be careful of the fake ones and scams. This is my only one. Make sure it's spelled correctly. There's no three L's. There's no two E's. There's no underscores. It is only will.knowledge. Okay. Thank you guys for watching the video. Always remember, no recommendation of ours. So anything, this is for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. Catch you guys in that next one.